G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Yo, what's up, Warriors? G'day, hope you're all well. You're probably looking at the title of this video and going, all right, this guy thinks he's now the brain tumor warrior. You may have noticed in the past weeks, or you may not have noticed, um, I have changed my name on YouTube from Joel Costello to the brain tumor warrior. You're probably thinking, why on earth has he done this? Uh, so in this video, we're gonna discuss the three, three reasons why I've done this and why I'm so passionate about connecting this community and connecting us as people who have gone through brain surgery and come out the other side. All right, the three points I'm gonna talk about in this video is, so it was the one thing I desperately wanted when I was laying in bed after surgery. I wanted someone to, uh, to show me that you could get it better and I desperately crave that, that sense of social proof. The second point we're gonna discuss is Connecting with you guys and other wellness warriors, sorry, other brain tumor warriors on multiple platforms here on YouTube and on Facebook forums as well. It actually really fills my cup. I love chatting with you guys and I love getting down in the comments and answering your questions and then thus making videos from your questions. And the third point is, um, I can speak from experience. I've been there, I've been with you. I'm not a doctor, a physician, a surgeon, or even a loved one who can only sympathize and uh, you know sometimes nearly be a little bit condescending. I can actually empathize with you because I've been there. I've been through the ups and the downs and the dark times and the, the weird and crazy side effects and, uh, and the gnarly things that go on. So guys, speaking of which, I'd love to know about your side effects. Um, we've all got them. It's not a taboo subject and not a, not a taboo topic. Chuck them down in the uh, comments below. I'll actually pin the comment at the top. I'd love to know uh, what your side effects were from your surgery. So just quickly off the top of my head, mine were severe loss of balance and coordination. The second one was, whoop, there we go. The second one was uh, loss, complete loss of my swallow. And the third one was severe double vision. I couldn't really see. So guys, back to the point of the video. Why am I declaring myself as the brain tumor warrior? I am so ferociously passionate about connecting this community and me representing someone who has, has gotten better and come out the other side. I'm not saying I'm back to how I used to be before surgery, very, very, very far off to be completely honest. But all I craved and wanted when I was in my hospital bed was to hear stories every day from my nurses, from my surgeon, I probably got a little bit annoying. Every day I would ask them, guys, am I gonna get better? Please let me know someone else who was in my situation who has gotten better and who has come out the other side. And I guess that's one of the big reasons I want to be the brain tumor warrior. I wanna be that guy for you. If you put your mind to it and if you if you get stuck into your rehab and you, you try and stay as positive as possible and just ride those ups and downs, you can improve over time. Um, there was a stage where I couldn't walk, talk, see, oh, or, or swallow. And now I'm back into a normal life. I have a job, I, uh, I, I get around quite well. I can eat all foods, although it is a bit of a struggle. So yeah, guys, point number one is I want to be that shining light, that person who's had a bit of a success to show you it is possible and to show you you're not alone. All right, point number two. Connecting with you guys actually fills my cup. It makes me feel really good. I um, I love just replying, sharing my story, sharing my, I guess, background and my experiences with all, the, all you guys, all your other warriors in the comments of YouTube and also in the Facebook forums I'm in as well. Um, for some reason, my brain chemicals have just wired me to be positive and treat this entire hectic experience in a positive way. So I, I see there's a due diligence and a calling for me to to connect us and, and reach out and communicate on what is a bloody scary time 
and a pretty gnarly situation in your life. And I'm here to connect us, to show you're not alone, to talk you through the downs, show you the ups, and basically yeah, explain that you aren't alone. There are millions of warriors out there, sadly. It's sad that we've all had to go through brain surgery. But here we are. And yeah, I'm gonna ferociously uh, shoot my positivity out my palms at you guys. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the third reason I wanna be the brain tumor warrior, I can actually speak from experience. It, it, as you guys will know, it's really, really, really satisfying and comforting to talk to someone else that has had brain surgery. It sounds weird, but talking to that person who's actually been there and done it and lived through the aches, the pains, the sleepless nights, the the changes in mood, the the way you can't control the body you want to, being able to talk to someone else or hear stories from someone else who's actually done it is really, really, really satisfying. It's been numerous times, many of you on this channel and in the Facebook forums I keep uh, reverting to, where we both comment, oh my God, how nice is it to talk to someone else who's actually been through it? Our family and our friends, as supportive as they are, have not been through it and can't really empathize with us. And it's just so incredibly nice to talk to someone who has. Even our doctors, our surgeons and our GPs and caregivers, they can't really, they don't really get it. They can speak from experience, from textbooks and from surgeries but they just don't get that lived experience. And yeah, that's why guys, I'm here to, to connect us as a community, but also share my stories and show you, you can get better. You can get out of that bed. You can get out of those dark times and just try and stay positive. I'm ferocious about providing and producing videos like this. I'm gonna produce over a hundred of them. So it gives you guys snippets of my journey and what to expect and how you can improve yourself um, throughout your journey. And guys, I'll always go back to this one point. No two brain surgery recovery journeys are ever the same. So I'm gonna give you my timelines, my side effects, how I'm feeling now. You may or may not have that exact timeline. You may improve way better than me. You may not. But I just want to give you some, some uh, I guess, baseline of, of where you can expect to be. So guys, thank you so much. That's it for this video. Until next time, warriors, be good. And if you, are ex uh, if you do have a surgery, a procedure, or you've got some results coming up, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, and all the best, guys. Take care. Peace. <coughs>